We're not having a good afternoon as regards flying, holds falling and holds falling apart. But you know, it's wonderful that we can come to God's house and we can free and relax because we are in a place that is familiar to us. It's a place where he wants to meet with us. This afternoon I want you to relax even more, but not too much, don't go to sleep. Because I have a name in black here today from Blue Hill 1147. They're going to bring us two beautiful pieces where the roses never fade. And what a day that will be. And I want to thank these men, but particularly Carl for assisting them as well and treating them and bringing them to the stand. He's a little nervous today. So will you just show your appreciation in the normal way?
I was told there would be a special musical item, but I wouldn't hear about it until the day of the service. And what a gem that it turned out to be. Thank you, Carla, and thank the tonight's of RBP 1147 for really coming forward and challenging us in those two beautiful pieces. That first one is a particular favourite of mine. What a day that will be. I trust as you join in our worship today that you're looking forward to that day when you look upon his face, the one who saved you by his grace. Oh, what a day, what a beautiful day that will be. And the second piece, that wonderful piece, where the roses never fade, we're only here for a season. We're just passing through. Our time will come and it will pass. But the main thing is that we make preparations that we will go to that place where the roses never fail. May I thank you very much indeed tonight for your wonderful contribution to our service this afternoon. And I can assure you, it's not the last time you'll have heard this said. Thank you very much indeed. <coughs>